Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on inverted YouTube manometer. So what is this inverted YouTube manometer? So in this YouTube is getting inverted containing a light liquid and it is attached with the two points whose pressure difference is to be measured. So first I will read what is the given problem. In figure an inverted differential manometer is connected to two pipes A and B which convey water. The fluid in manometer is oil of specific gravity 0.8 for the manometer reading shown in the diagram. Find the pressure difference between A and B. So this was the given question. So let us first understand what is the given diagram. So this is the inverted YouTube differential manometer. So why it is called as differential manometer? Because the two pipes are at different levels and here the YouTube is getting inverted. And this is the light liquid of oil of specific gravity 0.8. And if we observe the height here, the height of this fluid in this left side limb so his, this fluid is water so th that is given in the question so in the left side limb what is the height of water that is 30 centimeter and in the right hand side limb what is the height of water that is also equal to 30 centimeter and here the difference in between the center of two pipes that is equal to 20 centimeter so this is the given data now if we observe here from the specific gravity of oil, we can calculate the density. So what is the density? That is this specific gravity multiplied by 1000 that is equal to 800 kilogram per meter cube. Now what is the difference of oil in the two limbs? So from this diagram only we can calculate. So this total height that is 30 plus 20 which is equal to 50 minus we have to subtract this height of the water in the right hand side limb so what is the remaining height that is equal to 20 centimeter now if we observe this height is given in centimeter so we have to convert it into the standard unit that is in meter so 20 centimeter is equal to 0 0.2 meter so this meter we have to use as a standard unit now we will consider the datum line. So here C to D is the datum line. So now if we observe this diagram pressure below this point C which is equal to pressure below this point D. Now how to define the pressure? So first I will define the pressure below this point C. Now if we observe here is the pipe having center A and this is the water having height is equal to 30 centimeters so we have to write this now here the youtube is getting inverted so we have to first take pressure at this point a that is pa and from that we have to take the pressure due to height of this water in the left hand side limb that is due to this 30 centimeter height so how to define it that is rho g h so what is the rho that, that is the density of water so density of water is 1000 what is g that is 9.81 and what is this height 30 centimeter that means 0 0.3 meter so we have to subtract this pressure due to height h that is from this pa because u tube is getting inverted so this is important point so pa minus rho g h which is equal to now what is the pressure below this point d now if we observe here there are two liquids that is this is the oil and this is the water so again we have to take the pressure at this point b that is pb that is the pressure in the pipe pb minus then we have to take rho g h that is this uh, for this water we have to take here the uh, pressure due to height of this water in the right hand side limb so what is this height that is 30 centimeter so we have to take here as a 0 0.3 meter and what is the density that is 1000 into g means 9.81 into 0 0.3 so we have to subtract this rho g h from this pb and here the 
this oil contain inverted u tube manometer is the light liquid so re remember that we from these two liquids in the pipe this liquid as compared these two liquids this liquid in this inverted u tube manometer is the light liquid so then at last we have to take the height due to this light liquid so what is the pressure due to height h for this light liquid that is also equal to rho g h now here we will use the suffix rho s for this light liquid that is rho s g h s so what is this height so if we observe this diagram this height is 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meter so again we will take rho that is 800 into 9.81 into 0 0.2 so because of this inverted manometer we have to subtract it so when we solve this or when we simplify this we have to solve first these brackets then pa minus 2943 which is equal to pb minus 4512.6 now we have to find out what is the difference in between these two points in which the inverted youtube manometer is getting attached that means we have to find out pa minus pb so what is this pb minus pa so we can take here pb minus pa that is equal to 4512.6 0 0.6 minus 2943 and what is the answer that is 1569.6 newton per meter square and this is the answer.